Hi, this is David Gewertz, and I'm about to give you a demonstration of Delete Monster and help you understand how it works in the seamless donations environment. To do that, let's take a look at our basic data structures, the donations, donors, and funds. Let's start with donations. Donations is kind of important because it is the center point of the data structure environment. Basically, donors and funds all connect to a donation. So there's always one donation, but there can be many donors and many funds. And the important thing to understand is, for example, if we go to donors, and we saw Samir Georges a minute ago, you'll notice that he can have multiple donations. So one donor can have multiple donations, but one donation only has one donor. Likewise, if we go to funds, we can take a look at, say, the 140 Character Society, which has three anonymous donors and MISCA. And again, a fund can have multiple donations, but one donation can only have one fund. So the idea is if we delete a donation, we're deleting the links to both the donor, in this case Samir, and the fund. If we delete a donor, we are by definition deleting the donation because there is only one donor per donation. If we are deleting a fund, we may or we are we may or may not be deleting associated donations. So let's take a look at the interface for this. When you install uh, Delete Monster, what you're going to do is get this new section added to the settings screen. And let me go back to that from the main page of Seamless Donations. You come into the main page, you go into Settings, and it's installed here. Now, to understand how to do an install, uh, there's another video that shows that. You basically upload your plugin and um, enable the license. Uh, but once you've done those things, you will see this interface. Now, you'll notice that there are a number of important warnings. And that's because I found, I'm an educator uh, as well as an engineer, uh, I have found that unless people are kind of really encouraged to learn something, they'll sometimes ignore it. And here is the thing, uh, Delete Monster is potentially quite dangerous. There's a number of things that could go on if you're deleting donation records. Um, first off, there's the the very common and potentially problematic issue of just something could go wrong with your WordPress site. So it's important to make backups and therefore I ask you to sign up and agree to the fact that you need to make regular backups. Uh, another issue is that's very important to understand is that deleting records in seamless donations will not reach out to the payment service, most likely PayPal, uh, and delete payment records at the payment service. That's a completely separate operation. It will not cancel any recurring donations. And the other thing is, and this is something you really need to talk over with your accountant, there may be some unpredictable accounting implications. Um, there are certain accounting rules in certain jurisdictions and for certain kinds of operations where once you create a record, you cannot remove the record. You have to create a balancing record. And so before you start deleting things, you either need to check with your accountant or be aware that there may be accounting things to be aware of. And what will happen is without these, let's just say that you chose not to agree to make regular backups. One, you'll get a warning about it. And two, if we go to, for example, let's just go to a donation like uh, this one here, you'll notice that there's nothing over here. And that's because the Delete Monster capability will not turn on unless you agree to all four of these items. And yes, I know that is a bit of a pain, but the reason that I'm doing that is because you could potentially lose data and you could potentially run into all sorts of secondary, secondary implications when you're dealing with deleting records. And... Uh, my degree in my master's degree in education tells me that uh, it's kind of important for people to be guided to this knowledge. So put up with a little bit of a pain and we can make sure that users know that that's what's going on. Now once you agree to all of these important warnings, we can come back up to donations 
and you'll notice that there is a move to trash option enabled. Um, this is very much like any other move to trash op option. I can drop this over here. Uh, there is one item in trash. If I go to uh, donors and I go to Samir George's, um, the item I believe it's this one I moved to trash. Yep. We'll say you can't edit it because it's in trash. So we'll back out of that. We'll go back to donations. We can go back to trash. We can restore that. And then if we go back to donors again, you'll notice that we can now get to the donation. So it works very similarly to uh, traditional WordPress behavior in that when uh, you move something to trash, it is not permanent. Uh, but it is permanent if you delete something uh, and delete permanently. But let's go back to some of the seamless donations delete monster options because there's three basic options that come with this thing. That is what you do when different actions happen. So the, the first one is do you delete corresponding donations when the funds are deleted? So if a fund is deleted, do you take the donation out as the fund is removed? Um, there is an issue here because, of course, if you're deleting funds, if you're deleting donations, you might also be deleting... Let me back up. You have a fund. Let's say we have this fund, right? And we have two donations. If we delete this donation, it's a tied to a donor. Now, if Gabriel Brown has more than one donation, that's not an issue. But if Gabriel Brown only has one donation, we might also want to decide, do we delete the donor? So when we come back over here to our settings, we have the option to leave things when we delete them. So, for example, if we delete a fund, we're not going to delete the donations associated with the fund. If we delete a donation, I mean, excuse me, if we delete a donation, yeah, um, do we delete the donor if it's the only donation related to the donor? And do we delete a fund when the last donation might be deleted there? So if you want to just very quickly remove everything, then this will automatically remove all the cross-indexed links uh, between the different items. So if we go back to donors here, and let's, for example, take Samir. Samir has a couple of donations. We'll move to trash. We'll move the first donation to trash. We'll go to trash and we'll delete him. And we'll come back to donors and you'll notice that he is still there, but with only one donation. Let's come back to donations again. Come into this donation. We'll move this to trash. Now if you call settings, let's go back to settings. I turned on delete donor when last donation is deleted. So if we go back to Samir again, he has one donation. If I delete that donation, Samir himself will go away. So let's go back to donations and to trash. Permanently delete that donation. Now let's go to donors and you'll notice that Samir is not there anymore because we deleted him as the last donation. Let's take a look at Lacey McMahon now. Lacey McMahon has uh, this donation. I'm going to come back to her in a second. Let's go back to settings. This time, I'm not going to delete the donor when the last donation is deleted. So let's go back to donations again. Find, uh, let's, let's go through, I think she's anonymous in here. Let's go through and find her. Uh, here she is. Okay, find her donation. Move that donation to trash. Now you remember that that there was only one donation. If we again, if we go back to donors again and we look at Lacey McMahon, there is just that one donation, which now if we click, it's in trash. But if we go back to donations, go to trash, delete permanently, now we go back to donors, unlike Samir, Lacey's record is still here. It shows only zero amount as a donation and shows that there are no donations, but her record still remains. This is really important as we start adding more capabilities or if you decide to add things to the custom post types, you may not want the record to go away. The same thing applies to funds. So for example, uh, our International Kitten Video Fund has two donors. 
Uh, if we go to settings again, come down here, delete fund when last donation is deleted. So if I come in and uh, turn that off this time, save deleted donations, and I go into funds, and go into the International Kitten Video Association, and I move this fund, this donation to trash, and I come back to funds, and I move this donation to trash, and I come back to donations. Now I have two items that are in trash. I empty trash. Now I come back to my funds. The Kitten Video Association is still there. It just has no donations. And so this way you have a choice as you're going through and working with um, your deletions of whether you want to cross link these items when you delete. Now, honestly, I would generally recommend that you turn these off because you can go back and re-delete something if you have removed um, uh, their items. So for example, let's take another donor. Let's go look at donors here. And um, let's see, uh, Humphrey Russell. Humphrey has only made one donation, and we've, we've turned off the option. No, is it two, two donations? No, one donation. Uh, we've turned off the options to delete corresponding donors when the last donation is deleted. So if I come back to Humphrey, and I go to his donation, and I delete that donation, and I permanently delete it, and I come back to Humphrey, there's no donations found. Now, if I still want Humphrey to go away, I can always move Humphrey to trash, come into him, delete Humphrey permanently, and have more control over it. So if we go back to our donors list now, you'll see that he does not he's not listed anymore. So the purpose of these cross-reference items here is it gives you extra power, but with great power, as we all know, comes great responsibility. So you may want to keep those turned off unless you're doing some really large cleanup. And that really is Delete Monster. That's, that's pretty much what it does. Um, as the post says, it allows de deletion of donations, donors, and funds but it is potentially monstrously dangerous. Back up before using. Those cautions, by the way, now that you've seen this thing running, I'll come back to here one more time. These cautions are here for a reason. It's really important to understand that you are deleting live records from your donations database and that there could be implications. So take the power, use it if you want it, but be aware of what could be an implication and please back up. Please, please, please make backups before you do these things. Thank you very much. My name is David Gortz, and I hope you have a great day.